family and once again we are back today with another video man we're getting ready to check out the part two to the uh king of the hill man that they left us on the cliffhanger i know that hank can't be you know what i'm saying they ain't gonna get rid of hank you know what i'm saying but luann and buckwheat i mean buckley whatever you know i don't know man we gotta see we gotta see make sure y'all hit the like button go down below and make sure y'all check out the patreon only three dollars a month Megalo Mark, I gotta let you go. You're firing me? You don't have to take the test now. I gave the job to somebody else. Crazy. She was How you mad. doing, Arlen? Are you ready to soft rock? I'm breaking up with you. He didn't care. I mean greats. My bad, I mean greats. <laughs> he ain't shit. He ain't shit. Talk about Chuck. We must be getting old, Connie. We're 12, buddy. We are old. We've got... I, you know what? Now now I can understand how I sound talking to like people that's 50 and 60. I'll be like, you know, I'm, I'm older now. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, what? You're 29, boy. <laughs> to y'all, I might be. To me, I probably am. To them, come on, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Figure out what we're going to do with our lives. I'm gonna go to college and study prop comicry. I can't decide between being a concert violinist or leading the fight against the overuse of antibiotics. Be a violinist. Uh, that's a hard fight. That is a hard suffering fight. But you, if you gotta do what you gotta do. That way, I could be your opening act and we could travel the world together. Oh. They gonna kiss. Your dad got blown up. I don't like him. <laughs> I, okay, I ain't gonna make fun of Bobby. I, that is pretty traumatic. Let me t let me chill out, bro. I know Hank ain't blown up. I know he ain't. He can't be. Can he? No. Please, someone help me, Hank. This look like a scene from Breaking Bad. My husband is in there. He had to take this job because nobody else would hire him. We're doing everything we can, Mrs. Mangione. Who? I got two. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. You're alive. Oh. I'm all right, Peggy. There's two more inside. Oh, thank God you're okay. I'm nice. so worried. Oh, and everybody got out. Oh. Ooh, everybody got out. Some people got out fucked up. <laughs> oh my lord. Buh. He's a buh. Oh, my hair feels weird. Why would you comb it? Oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, baby, you Andrew Tate now. <laughs> I'm sorry, jumpy face. So far it appears that there were no other survivors. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> What? what about your boyfriend, you idiot? Stupid, you slow. What's taking them so long? When do I get to see dad? Some women only care about their damn will be out self. Soon, honey. Oh, Some Bobby, women. That is not a man. <sighs> is that all right, let's go home. Little freak. Dad, you're all right. Is there any permanent damage? No damage, no scratches, no dents, no dings. Bobby, what do you say we go hit the batting cages? Okay. What? That is, I mean, I understand just, you know, moving forward and moving on but i don't know i guess i guess you want to enjoy life after that man i mean it just seemed like he kind of brushing it off like at, at the, like bro you just got out of an explosion bro like i'm not the one that like like oh you always got to talk about your feelings but damn you know what i'm saying it's slow down you almost died today well that's the good thing about death you either die or you don't i didn't True. so let's go hit some balls Hank. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, careful, everyone. Now, Luann is going to look different. Maybe even Shut hypnotically up. grotesque. But do not stare. You call her uh, grotesque? I'm real sorry about Buckley, Luann, and your hair. Bobby? <laughs> Luann, honey, it'll be fine. We will just cover it up with makeup, and it'll be fine. Oh, me, boy. Got, now, that, now, she look like G.I. Jane. All right? All that talk, boy. You talking about, boy, that's Will Smith right, right now, there. Now, Aunt Peggy. I'm not going to use hair and makeup anymore. I learned something from that explosion. What's that? Beauty doesn't last forever. It can be blown off your head. All right. Omi looking ass. 
Shaolin oh, Showdown. Thank you, poor thing. You shouldn't be standing after your accident. I'm fine. It's no big deal. Buildings explode. That's what they do. Can no, we please don't. talk about something else? Bill, you're in favor of a flat tax. You haven't said a word about it. Did you happen to see Buckley or any part whom of attempting to flee the scene of the quote? Oh, right, right, right. He did that. Rest in peace to him, bro. That's crazy. They really killed off a character. Accident. Dale, the boy is no more. All they found left of him was his name tag. Damn. Well, that's all he wanted them to find. Classic cover-up. That boy's no deader than Mother Teresa. Shut up. It's not a conspiracy. Hey, girl. Strickland's back in business. Get ready to pump propane tomorrow. Uh, Fuck right, you. sir. I might be a little late. I don't know if I gave Megalomart my notice. Oh, I, I think you gave your notice, Nitro. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that explosion, right. which hasn't affected me in any way. No, no, no. No, I know it's a lie. <laughs> at, first, I, I, at first, I was thinking, like, it was a little weird that he was moving as if it didn't affect him, but now I know that that's a lie. It, bro, you know... It, it ain't nothing wrong with, you know, speaking out your traumas. You know, you can't tell everybody, and everybody don't deserve to hear it, but you need to at least be true to it to yourself. You need to, I mean, for real, like deep down inside, bro, you need to be true to it at least to yourself, man. You know, you can't keep going around acting like that shit don't exist, bro. Yeah, that shit exists. It messed them up. They ain't never put no beer in no glass. Yeah, right, he ain't never put no care. beer in no glass. Right, it's Mr. Strickland. Busy. Take a message. Uh, can he call you back? What? Oh, I see. Hike, why did you not tell me Mr. Strickland offered you your job back? Well, Fuck it him. just happened yesterday. Honey, he says customers are lined up out the door. Peggy, I am in the middle of decrumming the toaster. Save the crumbs! Oh, no, he nasty. <laughs> He's nasty. Luann, honey. It's two of your old friends, the manger babies. <laughs> Sock puppets are for babies. In the real world, beauty fades and penguins die a cold, horrible death. So, a you're not going back to beauty school then? I'm tired of making the world look pretty. I want to show the world for what it is. What is it? With photojournalism. Photojournalism, well. So, you know, it's, it's crazy. Some people, they go from one extreme to another. We're, we're seeing, this is a really good episode to see how people deal with traumatic events, bro. Like, you got Hank, he just avoiding it, acting like ain't nothing wrong. And Luann is doing that, but she's going to one extreme. Like, she's going to, like, she's, like, rebelling. Like, like no, no, no. Forget it. Everything in my life is wrong. And, you know. That's something. No, Look that's right at either. these pictures of hungry children. Come on Why now, Georgie CNN Porgy. Why in the corner? This is just a picture of the TV, Luann. Oh, it's nice to be smart, Aunt Peggy. Smart and well-fed. Oh, what you saying now? We need to be talking shit. Find the body yet, Quincy? We have some remains that we're analyzing. You needn't concern yourself. Oh, I needn't, <laughs> shouldn't I? And maybe I should not know that all Megalomart employees have a $5,000 insurance policy. That's hmm. nonsense. This is a very straightforward investigation. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. Who is that? Sir, we are they. Right. <laughs> they the FBI, boy. Who you think they is? He's a mother, sir. We are they. I guess at the end Hi. of the day. Fries like, are up. What do you do? Anyhow, what do you expect? The steak's coming. No, nah, no, nah, he's scared. To uh, eat. Still tenderizing. Don't want to rush him. You it's have been right, pounding though. the beef Jesus out of that beef since noon. Throw it on the grill. Let's go. Man, who are you talking about? Man, get your ass back in there. Let me handle what I get handled. You know what I'm saying? He's sweating. Look at him. Grease stains. Ugh. That boy sweat grind, boy. <laughs> that boy arm needs some degreaser, don't he? <laughs> Well, blew up in his mind. I get it, man. I get it, though. Ah, oh, dang. 
I don't get that, bro. Now, just have her do it, man. Just say your arm hurts. You don't feel comfortable with something, bro. You know, you feel lightheaded. Just say something like that, bro. You gonna throw what, the what's meat. What's wrong? I lost the steak. Got nothing to be huh. wasting. Huh? Mmm. Gobbets of meat from the sky. Oh, man. Doesn't taste like Buckley. No, oh, man. What? Oh, Hank, they need your help at Buckley's Wake, manning the grill. What? I ain't even gonna say the obvious question. You know it. How the hell does he know what that young man tastes like? Grill? The uh, hell? Is it Been propane? Tasting them? Of course it's propane, Hank. They're not Unitarians. <sighs> well, I wouldn't feel and right. I attractive. barely knew Buckley. Wake grilling is something you do for a blood relative or a close friend. Now, when Bill dies, maybe. Oh, honey, what a pretty, pretty outfit for a funeral. Ugh. Now, before we go, you might want to open this. Take that little scowl off your face, girl. You, your moose face. You take your little scowl off your face. Act like you mad. Your friends from the beauty academy well, she might be. it off. She almost died, though, right? Sorry for your loss. You had beautiful hair. Aww. They made me a wig. Aww. We made you a wig. That's nice. They made me a wig. Throw it out. Okay, well, you just go ahead and grieve any way that you want. Red Book says losing a boyfriend is the fourth most painful loss. She wrote her eyes. Between grandmother and penis. Oh, I'm not grieving. I broke up with Buckley's. No, you don't understand. Losing that is devastating. You might as well lose an arm or, or worse. That's worse. Seconds before the explosion and I never looked back. That's why I still have my eyebrows. Well, literally, she never looked back. Look, <laughs> the little things, just the little things. Mm, everybody Something's not right. Weak salary says that box is empty. I'm going in. Chill out, bro. You tripping. Oh, didn't think I'd see you here. Guilty conscience, huh? Why would I have a guilty conscience? I did not blow up the Megalomart. Oh, good. I'm glad you said that, Hank. I'm wearing the wire for an unrelated matter. What? Bro, look. Shut the hell up, you old, ugly man, and get out of here, boy, with your bad face ass. Oh, oh my God. Hey, boy, ugly ass. Like a president. No, when can I expect you back? Uh, never. After an appropriate period of grieving, sir, Buckley was practically a son to me. He's lying. He just the don't want to go there. Buckley is a, That's crazy. a great loss and a sad occasion. Would anyone care to come up and say a few words about Buckley? Oh, not you. I guess y'all expect me to cry for Buckley. You are. But I am not. Because there are a lot more important things to cry about. Right. This is a picture of what, what a hungry Irish <laughs> child looks like. Fight the occupation! Fight the occupation! Okay, shut up, Jada Pinkett Smith. You ugly as hell, boy. Fight the occupation! Fight the occupation! But no, no, just chill out, bro. Just chill out. You look like you smell something stinky. And You're nasty. Ah. Uh, is there anyone else who would like to made me. say a few words? I've been like, what? Oh, shit, about that's Buckley? on you. Anybody at all? Name of the boy was <laughs> Buckley? His parents, maybe? Come on, somebody? Y'all ain't shit. At first, I didn't much like Buckley. I just have a feeling this is going to be some BS, bro. I have a feeling this is. I admit. But then I saw how much he pissed off my neighbor, Mr. Hank Hill. And I decided to mm. seek out this Buckley fellow. Get to know him. Get to know him. I grew to love that boy. Now that he's gone, I feel a big hole in my life. Oh, wow. I think we all do. Damn. Okay. That's it's real. a world without Buckley. A world we want to live in. Uh, shut up now. <laughs> Just stop. You're so dramatic. As a Buddhist, of course, I get comfort from a story. I don't have to tell you how much Buddha should like a story. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you dad, your damn jokes. Yeah, ain't nobody, everybody's just looking like, what, if you don't finish your shit. Ah, uh, anyway. Story begin with man being chased by oh, a Oh, we're Russia getting a tiger. story. Okay. Tiger up? chase him to edge of cliff. Man okay. throws off. Halfway down, he grab onto a branch. Good. He look up. 
they see one hungry tiger. Right. Now he looked down. He see another hungry tiger mm. waiting for him on the ground below. Yeah. That's not a good place to be. <laughs> he know for sure he's gonna die. Wow. Then, out of the corner of his eye, he see a wild strawberry growing from same branch. Mm. Well, he pluck it and eat it. And it was the sweetest tasting strawberry he ever had. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you believe this guy? He tells a joke at a funeral. Highly inappropriate. Nah, it wasn't, bro. You know... <clears throat> oh, fuck. My bad. Dropped my phone. Uh, you know... That story brought me a little comfort, bro. I, I don't... You know... That was a really good story, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all what I think of the story, and then you tell me what you think um, down in the comments. Please, let's have a discussion about this. Down in the comments, you can let me know what you think. That's what I think. Now he said the it was a tiger. It was a chase. It was chasing the man. The man jumped off the cliff to save himself. End up catching a branch. End up get, end, getting stuck between one tiger at the top, one tiger at the bottom. Now he said, um, he said that he knew that he was gonna die, but he saw the strawberry, ate it. He ate the strawberry, and it was the best strawberry he ever had. I think it was. Tit. Oh, stop. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I think that, you know, the story was, the story was like really, really deep because it's, it's almost like you got to stop and taste the good things in life. You got to stop. Like, you know, you, you might, you, you might, you, you're going to head to death. You're going to move to death in life, bro. That's we all are doing it, no matter how fast. Some people doing it fast. Some people doing it slow. You know what I'm saying? Some people doing a hell of a fast <laughs> cocaine. Anyways, we are moving to that. We're all moving to the end. But you have to learn how to stop and, like, appreciate. Appreciate the good things in life. Like, uh, stopping and appreciating y'all, you know, um, just, uh, having y'all in my life, bro. Um, uh, I think, uh, you know, as much as I be like, yo, I don't have this, or, oh, oh, my girlfriend left me, bro, or, you know, my, this is not working out, or that's not working out, and what am I gonna do about this? And then it's like, and I be like, boom, at the end of the day, I got my fam, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got my fam, though, I got... You know, my kids, you know, all these great times. I got y'all, and it's amazing, bro. Like, when I step, when I stop and think about what I do have, like that strawberry, it's the sweetest taste of strawberry ever, bro. I, and I, and, and maybe, maybe that's not what he meant, but that's what I took out of it. And I think Hank knows. I don't think he think that was a joke. I think Hank knows, but whatever. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. I just don't know how one little boy can get so dirty in a cemetery. This was deep. Bobby, this was a good are you episode. in the bath yet? There's no hot water. Boy, get some oh, freaky the ass. The heater must have gone out again. Will you check on it, Hank? Oh, no. He's going to have to start. What is the propane? It's gas, though. It's gas. Gas power, yep. So, is it lit? Uh, well, it's getting there. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Hank. I will do it myself. No! Ah! Hank! Oh, getting freaky in that closet. What is wrong with you? You won't go to work. You declined an opportunity to grill. And now this? You are acting like you're afraid of propane. Damn. Oh, my God. Right, bro. I mean, Welcome what did you to think? Survivors of propane <laughs> Could you not tell that? I told you. Group. Let's start with... I, I know the good damn well they ain't got no pro propane support group. Chuck. Ever since the explosion, every song I play sounds like feels so good. Maybe that's because it does feel so good. Look at your alive. face, Betty Boop. No, that's not it. Mr. Hill, tell us how you're dealing with your grief. <laughs> Nothing much to talk about. Face I was in a propane explosion, and now I'm afraid of propane. Next person? Do you think you need shock well, treatment? Perhaps. Sounds to me perhaps. that what you're really afraid of is your own death. What? Hmm. Nobody's afraid of death. That's crazy. 
I'm afraid of propane. You're transferring, Mr. Hill. Doesn't it scare you? The thought of missing all your family's special moments. No. Mm. Never again sipping wine with your friends, scratching your cat or cats. No. Making bro, love to bro, your- Bro, he is like projecting, bro. Sipping wine with your friends, scratching your cat. Is that a metaphor for some good puss? Because I wouldn't mind some right now. Your partner. No, no, no. Mr. Hill, only Please. when you deal with your fear of death will you be able to overcome your fear of propane. Oh, Stop shit. it. Can't you hear the hissing? It's propane. This room's oh, going to blow. He's going crazy. Oh. It's him. It was him doing that. <laughs> Here. What's this? It's my scrapbook. This is the way that rational people deal with death, Hank, okay. by clipping articles out about grisly accidents from the local newspapers. Grisly. It is also my hobby. Good Lord. What? what? Peggy. What? Ugh. You do this on a daily basis, you freak? What is he? The, the, before the dark web, they had Peggy Hill. They Boy. beat the Aggies, but they could not beat that train. I'm not going on there. Hank, I'm an army barber. I get up every day and stare death in the back of the head. <laughs> I am not going to die. Chromium picolonate. Shut every up. orifice, every day. Okay. Hey, Hank, let me give you a piece of advice. You need to relax and enjoy life. Bro, one, don't just pop out of somewhere like you know what's going on, okay? All right? Shut your ugly ass up, boy. You got a big dent in your chin, boy. Look like uh, Mario. I got this story about a tiger. Knock your socks off. But then Already you just heard that joke, con. <laughs> Strawberries. Shut up. <laughs> hey, have you Shut thought up. about who'll take care of Bobby when you're gone? Because I'd like to throw my hat in the ring. I'd, I'd take him to baseball games and me and Peggy could oh, get up scared. in bed at night. Look like Bobby Dad. Peggy would not be included in any guardianship situation. I'll take the boy. The widow Hill is on her own. You got a deal. All right. Don't, bro, don't make no deal in front of that man bro, without his consent, too. Shake his hand. Let go of that. Right. I'm not saying Bobby goes to either of you. What's going on? I thought he was going to be okay. Oh, now Bobby <laughs> thinking something wrong with him. Oh, Bob. I ain't mad man, at I'll you, I'll tell boy. you what, Hank, about that dang old meaning of dead. life, man. It's like this, man. He's like a butterfly flapping his wings deep down in the forest, man. It's going to cause a tree fall like 5,000 miles away, man. And ain't nobody see it. Nobody don't, don't even happen. You know, the baby's born into this world, and they don't, they don't got any friends and got no, nothing but to go come in and like, find out all about them, no evil, man. I, you know what? That was a whole load of gibberish, but I understood it. You come in this world alone, you go out alone. He basically is saying, like, bro, the world is a cold place. If you let it, bro, you don't have The world doesn't have to be strictly cold, bro. There's a yin and a yang. There's a good and a bad. There's a give and a take, man. You know what I'm saying? You go, on, you come in this world alone, but if you're lucky, you come in this world with people that love you, or somewhere in life you are able to find people that love you. You know, and that is the give and the take. So yeah, you might leave alone, but at the same time, it's like the your life was filled with so many different people that love you. You just gotta be open enough to receive it, bro. I think that's hard though. That's hard though. It's really hard. Man, see, like Luan you don't even know, through. man. We're going it's like you're born into this world, man. And you got like it's like this, man, the dust in the wind, man. Or like the dang old candle in the wind, man. You going it don't matter, man. It's all the old oldies old time. You know what I think, man? Like them dang old I think, therefore you are, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> I get it. I that's get what it. we tell ourselves, isn't it, Boomhauer? No, nah, no, nah, he's right. I think therefore you are, bro. That is the hack of the world, bro. If you want to be more than what you are now, then you have to think beyond that, bro. You have to think. You got to become that shit, bro. You cannot be bullish and you have to become that, bro. You have to think it in your mind and you got to become that, bro. When I was when I wanted to be a YouTuber and everything, man, y'all wouldn't believe, bro. I thought it in my mind, I'm already there. We already got a million, bro. I already got a big organization of ODG that help out all of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Big financial institute. I got it all, bro. I already got It's already there, man. I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, man, we're going to do some big things like Mr. Beast type All stuff, right. man. I can do this. Nothing but I'm going to do it here of. in America, for sure. Not any shot. I'm not taking a shot at him. I'm just saying. We got a lot of things we got to do. Hank, I can't find Bobby. Connie says he ran away and he's already beyond the Triart area. <gasps> Damn. Where's the Triart? Come on. I love that apple pie. Smell the pie, girl. Come on. 
All right, she's locked on Bobby's scent. Come that's, on, girl, that's, let's go. That's a shame. It is hard to feel sorry for that little boy. There are whole villages in Sir. Ireland where oh. children are too busy sewing wishes on tennis shoes to run away. I heard enough from you. <laughs> the more you hold in, the more you put on strange Sinead O'Connor act. True. <gasps> I cry river of tear for Buckley. Why not you? <laughs> he put on the spot. So I'm not crying for Buckley. Big deal. He doesn't deserve it. Why not? Cause he ain't buy you a trampoline. She's she's grieving. My bad, my bad. She's grieving. Hey, so for your birthday, I wanted to get you those earrings you like, but I'm kind of tapped out. So here's some CDs I don't listen to anymore. Later, Buckley. Mm. Well, he made your call. Oh, Buckley. Oh, my hair. I ain't even gonna make fun of her face. I think we <laughs> let it go, let it go, let it go. I feel like frozen, bro. Like, just let it go, Quizzy. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Anyway, yeah. let's just let this. No, you're not. You're what is rain, what what? <laughs> and such a pretty young thing as well. Okay, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> I don't want to look pretty anymore. Oh, that's just rubbish. If a girl wants to look pretty right now, why don't you try on that lovely wig? Well, this is kind of nice. In a, in a crazy, oh. psychotic way, this is kind of nice. How do I look? No, you look bad. Oh, hmm. You look like Autumn. Let's say it's off again. Damn. <laughs> That's what the little Dad, said. how'd you find me? Well, I let Ladybird sniff one of your fruit pies. And she took me around the block a few times and... <laughs> well, and then Mr. Krinsky called and said he saw you over here. Oh, he was probably just looking for his mom. Yeah. Oh, no, this is horrible. <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. Yeah. This so, is really sad. Uh, so I guess you're up here because of the way I've been acting since the explosion. Well, when that happened, I was afraid you were dead. And today, you were talking to your friends about dying, and mm. I guess I freaked out. That oh, makes sense, son, though. you shouldn't be worrying about that stuff. Yeah, you shouldn't be eavesdropping, staying in a child's place with you slap. Wait, I'm sorry. I didn't say that. I'm just joking. Hopefully, it's a long way off. A boy your age ought to worry about getting dates and making a team and, you know, getting dates and... So okay, dying should be it. at the bottom of the list. You need to relax and enjoy life. Huh. Right, take your hey, own did advice. Did I ever tell you the story about the man and the tiger? Uh-uh. Well, uh, there was this man, and he was being chased by a ferocious tiger. Right, see? Uh, make that a lion. A Detroit lion. Two okay, now. Okay, just stop, bro. Okay, if you're going to tell the story, tell the story right. Two of them. But well, and maybe he's telling was them so he can understand. Cowboy Hall of Famer Roger Staubach. I know him. He sells life insurance on TV. Yeah. Well, anyway, the lions okay. were blitzing, and Roger rolled out of the pocket, running for his life. He headed for the sidelines, but these two lions were closing in on him. Then, out of the corner of his eye, he saw a strawberry a cup of Gatorade. Well, mm. Roger took yep. a drink of that like Gatorade, this. but I tell you something, son. It was the sweetest sip of Gatorade Roger ever tasted. <laughs> Interesting, bro. Well, you know, it's nothing wrong with making a story modern. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing wrong with making a story, um, like, unique to the listener, you know, so they can better understand. Because, you know, a lot of stories that we have that are really good, that are even put in books, um, the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Um, not just not me pushing anything on y'all, but a lot of these stories that we have in all kinds of walks of life, um, are told to us and they are still apply. They just got a lot of old terminology and old philosophies. But the thing is, it still applies. It still works. And, you know, one of the biggest thing is, um, you know, live and let live 
but just also it, just you know when you when you in life bro you working every single day and uh, you know just it's nothing wrong with doing that but make sure you're working every single day for something that you want to do you know what i mean like make sure you're working every single day for something that if you had to if you had to look back when you're 70 80 90 years old and you know you have to look back at your life you be like okay i didn't see as my kids as much as i wanted to because maybe i wanted to do more uh but at least you can say that you achieve your goals you know and that's that might be a bad um comparison because i know some people be like what you don't even see the kids it's not really what i meant but it's just like at the end of the day just make sure your life is filled with things that you are proud of become proud of like if you're if you're waiting to go do something just go do it bro like if you're thinking about doing something do it if you think about starting a youtube channel start a youtube channel if you think about starting a business or going to school or doing something in your life that you just been nudging it and then you've been you know worried about what people think and you've been scared of doing it or you scared of failing bro i'm telling you just do it now and enjoy it bro enjoy every little step of the way uh, and thank y'all uh, my strawberry like i said 80,000 subscribers thank y'all um more king of the hill for sure man we got a lot more king of the hill coming soon man i love y'all man and uh cheers to a hundred thousand man we on our we on our way man we on our way love y'all man see y'all in the next video